So, if we're coming back from last part with uh, the methods we defined, the tests and everything, now is a good time to save your image and that's what we have done. But how to save everything locally because we can see there that there is a small star on our package. This means that it's not saved anywhere except from within our image. So you can just use a tool called Iceberg that will use version control on your package. So for example here we can add a package and go to a new repository that will call my counter. The source directory will be SRC and we can just press OK. So my counter is there but then if we double click on it you can see that there is nothing in it but we can add a package so we'll add our package my counter OK my counter add and committed changes so if you're familiar with Git it's using the exact same way but locally so right now we can do commit so these are all the things we added to our to our package my counter plus some internal files such as dot project dot properties so we can write a comment for our commit so for example initial commit of a counter increment and decrement methods tested and let's just commit. Okay, so there we have a package that has been saved. So now if we do some changes, so for example, imagine that we want our to add another increment called increment two, that will add two. We can save this. The, me the method has been created, and now if we want to state this change in our package you can see that if we go back to our my counter package from within iceberg it has some uncommitted changes so let's just commit you can see that increment 2 has been added and we can just write add increment 2 and commit and this is our package that is now up to date so this is a good way to save a version history of what you are doing as well as saving your package somewhere.